Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Media Alternative. So, <laughs> eBay listing of 18 core Xeon E5 a 2600 V4 um, version 4 Broadwell EP uh, ES and CPU spotted selling for 999 US dollars comparable with X99 motherboards. Update uh, um, Tipstar has provided us picture of two more unreleased chips and the flash script uh, Xeon E5. 2699 V4 and the Xeon E5 2696V4. Um, Both chips are um, some of the fastest available CPUs and the samples leaked uh, are final OM samples which will be selling this quarter. You, you can find benchmarking along the, with pictures uh, of the CPUs in the gallery posted below. Do, do, do know the fresh key 20, 22 core chip will feature the price point of 4000 US dollars and we hit the retail um, channels in 2016 in April. Intel is launching the high-end uh, performance Xeon E5 2600 V4 series code, code name uh, Broadwell uh, EP with Quora which will be aimed at the server market. There is still some time left in the launch. However, over the several months we have found uh, a huge array of listings over the Chinese retailers and the latest listing is spotted over eBay on which you users is selling an 18 core Xeon E5 V4 chip for the price of $999 US dollars. Um, the listing on eBay shows 18 core chip with 36 threads since it's a hyper thread of CPU. The uh, chip clock in a base clock or, um, <coughs> of 2.20 GHz with a maximum turbo frequency of 3 GHz and 2.6 GHz across all cores. The Intel Xeon E5 2600. V4 lineup is based in the company 14 nm Broadwell architecture. There, is, there are some key changes over to the design which <coughs> add to the efficiency of the new lineup. The seller has clearly mentioned that the chip is an engineering sample that, uh, but runs fine with all workloads. The, the, the step mentioned in uh, AO which, which means the chip is past the early sampling stage at the chip specs 2.5 megabyte L3 cache per core and has total 45 megabyte LLC <clears throat> in a di um, in a die package of the t uh, TDP or 145 volt, since this 18 core chip will um, we believe um, this could either be the Xeon E5 2696 or Xeon E5 2697 CPU is likely to feature similar specifications. Let's have a look at the um, benchmarks. Look look at look at the difference in benchmarks compared to the older version. Fucking hell, like this thing is a beast really is we can see here as well you can see <coughs> 2011 uh, Broadwell E Xeon uh, 2696 version 4 2.0 GHz um, yeah um, <coughs> now there's interesting stuff you know the Intel is launching a Broadwell E lineup with a uh, 10 core uh, SKU. The SKU is rumored to, uh, to launch with the price above 1000 US. Intel previously a core SKU, the core uh, i7 5960X, the launch with the Haswell E lineup sold at uh, 999 US and it was, it was a, sol a solid part. The thing that makes this listing a lot interesting is that the Broadwell EP chips is said to be comparable with X39 motherboards. The chips that support the list include. X10DR series from Supermicro X99 Z Z1 uh, Z um, Z Z10PE series from Asus and X99 motherboards from Gigabyte. I'll, I'll list, a list list of these is shown below as the sellers are detailed. So this is the list here. An 80 core chip of $199 US, um, US based on the latest architecture, which is the same in, in interaction that to be made available or. or on head the platform a few months later, although with the lower core skew, it does um, that does uh, um, seem um, really nice uh, of a deal. That there are some things to consider first. There is no short short way of telling how much the CPU has been used or the, if the chip is, has a good stability overall. The match the benchmark posted by the user does show that the chip is capable of running, but there is no other assurance provided. The core the scoring benchmark does not show that. The one fast chip to its own price range for rendering or even other purpose that includes gaming, high end application, multitasking. You can even find these listings all over the Chinese retail websites. 
So I can see the GPU, it says Xeon E5 2696 version 4, 2.2 gigahertz. But yeah, the, the seller has mentioned that, that, that he also has a 22 core OM product processor available. This is referring to a flash grip Xeon E5 2699 version 4 CPU. There is no mention that if he wants to sell them to, um, if he wants to sell them to, but more details can be provided upon request to buyers who are interested. Uh, the Grantly and Brickland platform, which will support the Broadwell EP and e EH chips model, represent, uh, respectively, has already been at the market for three generations. This includes Ivy Bridge, EPEX V2, Haswell EPEX V3, and the latest Broadwell EPEX V4 processors. Broadwell EPEX V4 processors will be the last processors, arri processors to arrive as Intel phases out their current platform and moves to the new the new parallel platform from Skylake -like and Canon-like CPUs. The Broadwell EPEX series will, will be launched scheduled as detailed be below. Uh, Broadwell EP, EP, EP E5 V4 uh, fam, uh, family of CPUs will be landing in the first half of 2016. This will consist of the Broadwell EP series and the, and the processor for one, which includes the Xeon E5 1600, 1600 and uh, V4 and E5 2600 V4 family of CPUs for both single and dual circuit motherboards. EP 1600, 1600 V4 series will have up to 8 cores, whether the, where is the 20, 2600 V4 series will rock up to 22 cores and have full support for DDR4 2400 memory. The platform will be compatible with C uh, 610 series chipset, the Broadwell e EP4S platform up to four sockets on, on one motherboard consisting of Xeon E5 4600 V4 will be launched sometime in Q2 2016. Broadwell, e, Broadwell e, EP E7 V4 family of CPUs cons consulting the Broadwell e, EX platform and the monocolant mon range of EP uh, 4800 4, 4, 4, V4 and e, E7 8800 v, uh, v4 will be launched in Q, uh, Q2 um, 2016. Uh, it will also be compatible with the existing black Brickland platform. The Xeon uh, Phi X200 uh, series of products, Knights Landing, will be available in, in, in Q3 2016. Knights Landing uh, was built in of 14 nm as pr a process and uses modified uh, silver mount cores. Uh, um, X86, uh, of course, it's also one of the first mass-produced co components developed for the market segment that features stacked DRAM. So, um, as we can see here, um, these are all the, all, the C all the Xeon CPUs that will be available. But, you know, interesting actually to see that it's actually on eBay. I believe it's it's legit, but, you know, the, the, the owner seems to be really honest about it. So, anyway. Some people, some will buy it for sure. I can always, always guarantee. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe for more. Thank you.